Well, after making multiple videos on Master Duel, most of which have blown up in views and continue to grow, I believe it's time to fire the silver bullet into the Master Duel cash cow once and for all. Because honestly, I am so tired of seeing it from people that I am slash was sub to. I'm looking at you, DZ. And because of the continued success of my previous Master Duel videos, I want to sum everything up about what the community has been saying, what yu gi tubers are currently doing, and give all the reasons why Master Duel from the get-go was going to fail and continues to do terribly as people continue to leave the game in droves, whether that be because they got all the cards in the game or just ones they wanted, or if they just simply got bored of the game due to lack of content, special events, and the meta being single game only. That just makes the competitive aspect a damn dice roll. I also want to make clear at the start of this video that I will be calling out a couple of my fellow Yugi tubers. I want to make clear that I am in no way, shape, or form attacking these guys. I am simply giving blunt criticism as that's what I have done from day one of Master Duel. And to be perfectly honest, that's pretty much my personality on YouTube at this point, because I have no skin in the game. I don't make money off of YouTube, nor do I have any sponsorships with Konami, so I can be as blunt as I damn well please. With that being said, let's get into it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Master Duel had a lot of promise. After years of not having a world championship video game on a console, Master Duel was a chance to have an official simulator instead of having to use fan-made ones like Dueling Book or EDO Pro. But all of that came crashing down when people started playing it and realized the fuckery. It was one out of one games and the ban list was a hodgepodge mix of cards that were on the TCG and OCG ban list. Which, side note, the first ban list it recently got didn't do a damn thing. So now you had this game that was supposed to be a simulator of what the real game is like, which to a degree it is, even though it's just Hearthstone with a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh skin, but the meta itself was totally different. FTK decks, aka first turn kill decks, that don't even exist in the IRL game, existed in Master Duel because the ban list was different, thus providing more draw power cards such as 3 card of Demise, whereas Demise is at 1 in the TCG, and even Pot of Desires is currently at 1, and made decks like DD I'm Gonna Whip My Dick Out Dynamite being dumbass FTK decks, because if you went first, you just auto won because it was only best of fucking 1. In the real game, you could side deck and make the Dynamite deck look like what it really is, a heaping pile of dog shit on a hot summer day. And what personally pissed me off the most was the fact that people said it was great that you only needed to grind for four hours to get a top tier meta deck, to which I always ask the same question. Why in the hell would I ever waste four hours of my life doing that when Dueling Book or any other fan-made simulator gives me all the cards for free and doesn't exclude cards like Air Neos because Konami doesn't have the rights to it or whatever conspiracy theory people go with today? Personally, I think Elon Musk bought the rights to it because why not, but I digress. What I find funny is that this Reddit post from three months ago, I feel sums up the majority of issues perfectly. It's a bit long, so please bear with me. Konami did a great job blinding everybody. They give you a lot of money in the first 10 hours of playing, so everybody spammed, wow, it is so free to play friendly. After a while, there are no rewards anymore, and the dual pass is a joke, barely giving enough to buy four ultra rare cards if you get the whole thing. Missions are non-existent after getting the front-loaded ones, and I get that it is a free-to-play game that they want to make money, and I would be okay with that if the rest of the game is outstanding. As it is now, you have to play for a very long time to get new cards after your first two to four decks. If you watch any streamer, you will see all of them wailing like crazy to have different decks to make content, and the prices are not low either, even with the current sale at the time of this Reddit post. You pay around a buck per pack to open. The fewer gems you buy at once, the worse it gets. And the packs have horrible rates as only half of the pack is what you want. At this point, you can just buy real cards for four bucks for nine cards and actually have the cards instead of digital only. The game is half-baked. Cards are missing and there is no OCG or TCG rules slash ban list. The rank system is extremely simplistic and splits the game into two groups. At the moment, the split is around plat 5 to 4, meta and non-meta. Go higher than that threshold and you face against tier 1 meta decks exclusively. Go below and you have casual players with whatever decks. Yes, the rank system is supposed to have non-casual games where players compete to be the best, but there is no alternative. If I fancy playing a meta deck for a while and I'm in gold, I will just stomp whoever I encounter. Then I get into plat after a few wins, and I can only play meta, otherwise I will get stomped. 
I have no choice but to play one deck and stick to it. And yes, there are private rooms to duel, but they don't give you any rewards whatsoever. So people are forced to play rank to afford new cards, which forces them to play meta. But then again, people cannot even use it to play or train competitively because it is lacking the rules and balance that actually matter, and it has no best of three or side deck either. Little side note, if you've been keeping up with my other Master Duel videos, you'll know that I've been saying all this shit from the beginning. Let's continue on. It does not provide any new features or gameplay either compared to other Yu-Gi-Oh games like Duel Links where you could play it and have investment and unique fun because it is a different game with different rules and is completely separate. As it stands, it is a cheap and restricted version of Yu-Gi-Oh. You are better off playing the physical card game or sticking with Dueling Book or EDO Pro since they allow you to play in whatever way you want with any ban list and against casual or competitive players. Again, I've been saying this since the beginning. I will add one point about EDO Pro, however, and say that yes, EDO Pro does have different region servers, but due to the EDO EU competitive server being the most populated one since that's the default server, it is sometimes near impossible to find a game on other servers, but people play casually in all the servers regardless. And if you want to play against a casual deck, you can make a dual note saying casual decks only, and most people will play you with a casual deck. Of course, there are asshats who will troll you, but I think it's better to get trolled by one of them than a dickhead using DD Dynamite FTK to get to Plat and Master Duel so they can feel good for five minutes. Now let's talk about something I've seen several people say on my Master Duel videos. A lot of you have said that certain summoning mechanics are what ruined Yu-Gi-Oh. No offense, but all of you are incorrect. We've been hearing the same song and dance for years now. First it was people saying Synchros ruin the game, then Xyz, then Pendulum, etc. But the game is still around and it's doing great. I can tell you it's doing great because one, I've been playing competitively since 2008, and two, in all my years of going to my local OTS stores, I have never have had to be there when the doors open to sign up for a tournament due to fears of hitting the max player cap early and them starting early because of it. That should tell you that people are eager to play competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, especially after two years of no events due to COVID and the mass amounts of cheating in remote duels doing nothing but bringing bullshit cheaters and issues with remote duels to the surface. Xyz didn't kill Yu-Gi-Oh. Lynx didn't kill Yu-Gi-Oh. Pendulums were overpowered for a time, but they have since been fixed. The game is not what you remember it to be because power creep is a thing. And to the guy who said that being competitive isn't everyone running the sh same shit, I say to you again, so should we all just play our shitty Summon Skull Beaver Warrior decks so that we can claim to be creative and not meta sheep? Oh, but then we all play Max C because it's fucking broken. And yes, I'm going to bring up a debate from months ago because that dude never responded back to me, so I took it as a personal win. Not being petty much just making a point <laughs> finally i want to talk about the yugi tubing community specifically dz and team samurai x1 i unsubbed to dz because bro your content is so fucking clickbaity i see a video where he's talking about volcanics and of course i don't know by the title if it's master duel or not and the preview when i scroll over the video just shows me the card on a green ass background so i gotta click on the video because of course it sounds interesting get through the bullshit cock eating ad just to find out oh hey it's a master duel video well i'll just go fuck myself and I get it. As a content creator myself with a small channel who wants to grow, you have to make thumbnails look good. You have to make a title interesting. If you include Master Duel in the title, depending on what the video topic is, it may not get as many views. Same goes for Team Sam. But bro, you're even worse because you make your video titles in all caps like the cap lock is on 24-7, and you're out here talking about broken decks and a bunch of negate boards just to find out, oh hey, it's Master Shits, fuck this video too then. And I get it. They are on the YouTube grind. They want to make that money. They want to increase their channel size. But notice how some of their content is early product openings or how just in general some of their videos videos are sponsored by Konami. YukiTubers like this will of course want Master Duel to do well and won't shit on the game like I do because they don't want to lose their sponsorship. They don't want to lose that free profit. Because let's be honest, Konami giving these guys free product to open early is like handing them cash. Because if they pull an expensive card, they can turn right around and sell it for easy money. So what should have Konami done to stop the bleeding of players? Well, they should have added a fucking match mode. Added in all the cards that are in the IRL game because Master Duel still doesn't have Flunderies, which is arguably a tier 1 deck right now in Yu-Gi-Oh! As well as added in OCG single and match duels and TCG single and match duels and of course single and match duels for the Master Duel balance. The TCG and OCG mode would just have their balance counterparts for each respective format. And Konami could even add in the retro formats such as GOAT or Edison format, which I have a series about the retro format formats on my channel, shameless plug. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Master Duel, please rest in peace. And if you like Master Duel, more power to you. And once again, I want to point out, I'm in no way trying to call DZ for any other YouTuber shills or sellouts. I'm just giving blunt feedback. And now, from now on, anytime someone has a question or comment about Master Duel needs this or that, I can direct them to this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.